number 21B, I'm going to redraw this. This is a, a benzene ring right here. So I'm just going to start with that. Off of this one, I've got a methyl group. Okay, off of this one, the red is an oxygen, and then I've got a methyl group right here. So this one, we got to notice a few things right off. Number one, we've got um, an ether. Okay. Number two is that we've got a toluene. Okay, so this is an ether. This is the toluene molecule. And this right here is a methyl group. Now, if you'll remember, when it comes to naming ethers, if you have a very simple ether, like two things on each side, um, it gets the name ether at the end. But when it comes to organic, certain things are given these priorities. And so sometimes it's a little unclear to see this. So again, make sure that you're showing me all of these things, all right, so that there can be some partial credit given. Because when you go to put it together, um, this toluene is the main um, person if you, or whatever in this relationship, okay? So toluene, I'm going to write that down. He's the, like the parent, the, the last part, okay? And this counts as a substituent. So this is kind of um, given a substituent status since this is more, I don't know, important. So this is given the name methoxy. And we have to show that it's located in the, not the ortho position, but the meta position. Okay, remember that would be para. So this is in the meta position. So you could put M or meta. Okay, da? <laughs> okay, so M or meta methoxy toluene is how you would name that. So again, I understand that especially when it comes to giving priority to when is this a parent name versus when is an ether a parent name. I get it. That's really difficult. So if when you're taking your test, you're circling things and you're showing me meth methyl, ether, toluene, I can give you some partial credit at least if the name is completely wrong.